Hello, this is the High Tech Hobbyist, and today I'm going to be showing you how to make a 3D object from just about any YouTube video that gives you a good aerial shot, um, or even any 360 video, even shot from the ground. So I'm going to open up YouTube, and we're going to try to find a good video to use. And I've already kind of looked through here to find one. Um, so here is the one I found. So what this is, is photogrammetry, um, is how we're going to get the 3D object from these videos. And I have an article about it that I will link in the description that kind of explains it a little better if you're not familiar with it. But what it basically is, is taking a bunch of images and putting them together to calculate a 3D object. Um, and, it, and what I'm gonna do here is actually use a video to capture screenshots to use as the images for the program. So to get those screenshots, either we have to download it or there is also a site um, and it is called YouTube Screenshot. And all you have to do is copy and paste your video link. And it will generate the video within the site. So all you have to do is go through this and hit take screenshot. And it will generate a little box down here. Um, which all you have to do is right click and hit save image as and it will pop up and you can save it onto your computer um, and this way isn't bad if you would rather not download the video but it does take a lot of time because you constantly have to be going down here and saving the image um, what a better way to do it is actually download the video um, and to do that, all you have to do is go to your video and replace the first few letters here with SS. And it's going to pull up a separate site where you can download the video. And there's a few options here that you can download. And the best quality um, they have is 1080p. Um, with no audio, which you obviously will not need to capture the screenshots. Um, so I, I usually download as a 1080p file. So all you want to do is download that. And you can see here I already have it downloaded. So I'm going to open that up within my VLC player, um, which is another free program. And once you have this opened up, all you want to do is go through here and capture screenshots. And you want to do this by going up to video and hit a take snapshot. And it will save right to your hard drive. And you can set where it saves within the preferences. Uh, but in order to do this, all you want to do is get usually 50 to 100 pictures of your object. So I will just let the video run and take snapshots every few seconds. So this will take me a few minutes here now. Okay, so once you have enough pictures, all you have to do is open up 
a there's actually a few free programs you can use to make your 3d object and I just use one that is actually online and that is Altature so once you sign up for this site it is completely free and you can make a bunch of 3d models as you can see here people make them um, with their drones but it will work with any object um, so you want to hit create project and you're gonna to want to add your images that you captured from the video An easy way to select all of them is to click your first one and go down to your last. And to click on your last one, just hold shift and click and it will select all of your images for you. Hit open and it's going to upload your images to the site. And after upload, it will process your images for you and create your 3D object. So let's see how that turned out. Okay, so while we were waiting on my 3D object to be created by Altature, I wanted to show you another free program um, that you can actually just download from Autodesk, which I'll include a link in the description. Um, so for this one, it's super simple, as easy as the other one. Um, all you have to do for this is open up and hit create a new capture and do the same thing as the last and select all of your images. So this one's only gonna allow you 70 photos and that's okay because you should be able to get enough detail with 70. So once you have those all selected, all you have to do is create project and it will start your upload and then also create the 3D object just as Altature would. Um, now they do give a little bit different results. I've had success with both of them and it kind of just depends on what you are trying to make a 3D object of. Um, you kind of just have to give both a try to see which one works better for you. Um, so we're gonna wait here and we will see the results that we get. Okay, and as you can see here, it's finished making my object for me. Um, so on Altature, all you want to do is go to your 3D models, and it will pop up with your finished model. Let's see how it is. So you can see here, it did a pretty good job of making it. Um, I'm going to zoom in. You can see toward the head of it, which unfortunately the video didn't get a great view of the top of it. But I would still say overall, this is a pretty successful model. Um, so as you can see, it, it captured the base of it and all around it um, in pretty good detail, I would say too. So go ahead and give this a try and go ahead and post the link of your model in the comments and let's see how it is. Please like and subscribe and visit us at thehightechhobbyist.com. Thanks for watching.